It's now the 1st of May, which means exams. I have about five, no, four weeks of school before I have half term, and then I have about three weeks before I go on a school trip, which is like our final trip before we all leave. And essentially in that time, I have to get my grades together, pass some exams to make sure I get my certificate to say I can leave school and get very good grades so I can get into the school I want to go to, which is a lot of work, a lot of stress, but I'm so okay with it. I'm so not panicking and I'm really surprised. I mean, low key I am, I think everyone is, you know, I've got exams. Kinda hard not to. I have a few like tests and projects or works I have to give in before the half term and then I have a ton of like final exams in those three weeks before I finish school and it is just a lot of stress that I'm having to deal with before it happens or I know I'll um, die when I get to it and it's so exciting. <laughs> but what I've noticed is how organising myself like everybody tells you you should is literally the only reason I'm doing okay and proud of myself for it but also let's talk about that because it makes a huge difference to prepare yourself for everything but mentally not studying wise. So I've got this notebook which I've made a little calendar in to write down all the main tests and stuff that I have and also other things that I've got going on just so I can like balance it out and when I look at it I see everything I have to do or everything I have to give in but also I see like the good things that are happening in between so it's not completely overwhelming but also it just makes me feel really organised and I kind of am organised now which I'm really happy about. I'm just like writing everything down in one notebook and it makes a huge difference like I completely recommend it especially if um, all the work that you have to do or like specifically studying um, becomes overwhelming so yeah definitely recommend that. Also like uh, plan out your weekends as well but like the socialising you have to do or like you want to do because what happens is that you'll get to the weekend you'll be like yeah I could study all weekend you won't because something will pop up if you plan in what time you're going to spend with friends it makes a huge difference I've said huge difference a thousand times but like it does <laughs> everything makes a difference when it comes to that if you semi accept that you're going to be stressed and that it is going to be a hard time but plan it out seeing it all written down on paper with exact dates to do everything just makes it seem a little less overwhelming because you can think of it as literally it's just a month a month in which I'm going to be very busy and have a lot of studying to do but I can have a break afterwards and it'll be fine doing everything little bits because in the summer I'm also going to be stressed figuring out what to do for A levels because I've never been in the English system and that is really scary and a lot of work but not thinking about that now we'll figure that out in the summer like just planning everything out doing it in little uh, sections second by second minute by minute oh my <laughs> my children so in summary those are like the only tips i have for surviving really uh i think there's a lot of people who do really well with like studying and are really systematic with it so they have one thing that works and they always do it that never works for me the only thing that works is writing everything down that might not work for you but it's worth a try those are my only tips that are working for me right now one write everything down day to day month to month have a different section for everything you have to do daily and everything you have to complete within a week or within a month and so on secondly connected to that have one calendar with everything written down, every exam, every due date, every event that you've got going on so nothing clashes. And thirdly, accept you're going to be stressed but also you have time to organise yourself so make the most of that, make sure you take advantage, try and be as relaxed as possible but So good luck to everyone who's going to be doing exams uh, the next two months or so. Uh, you're going to be stressed in any way, but we're all stressed, so... <sighs> yeah.